Badgley boots it high, but a chance for a return. And this is Sanders from the three. Bounces off a tackler. And a nice return out across the 30-yard line. Haynes rush only three. Wimbush has time and delivers a strike. Bouncing off tacklers there is Kevin Stefferson and the speedy receiver out of the doghouse into Miami territory. Wow. Haynes rush for Wimbush delivers another strike and Equimenius St. Brown a first down catch at the Miami 35. Oh, oh yeah. He was disappointed by Claypool's drop right there. Now on third down, Wimbush is chased, pursued, retreats, and just heaves it down the sidelines. Incomplete. Angier back, delivers a long throw. Catch made there by Jeff Thomas, and the freshman is loose, and he's out across the 30. He can take it the distance on any touch. Irish showing some pressure on second and two. Homer, and he scoots for a first down. They're playing without Mark Walton, who's the alpha of this offense. They're in a nice six-yard gain on first down. Rogier again, brief look downfield. Tried to take off, but he was trapped by Tavon Coney. A defensive tackle caught up in between two men, so they eat up the linemen, and Coney, who's just on fire. The Third and five. Here, gets it out quickly, incomplete, well covered down the middle was Amon Richards, he was bracketed there. Third and shorts. Good call, option look, the pitch in the boundary, and the Canes stuff it out and smother him for a loss. Looking at it, so he knows what to expect and he takes off. He didn't wait, he didn't hesitate, he knew that he had the pitch, he saw the receiver in motion, he trusted that Wimbush would be taken away, and then he makes the pick six, and he leads the FBS and passes broken up this season. Another one there. It's a screen. Homer has space. Cuts it back. Weaves his way down to the 30-yard line. The patience. He looks left, baiting that Notre Dame pressure. Nobody picks up Homer out of the backfield. You saw an attempt by Morgan. Looking to throw on first down. Herndon makes a hands catch and muscles down inside the 20. Down here from the Canes in the red zone. <laughs> they tried to throw back to Razier last week. That didn't work. Again, a brief look downfield and the quarterback takes off this time. No slide. Power is inside for a first and goal. Razier again lobbing far side of the end zone. Barrios. Touchdown Miami. And the Canes strike first. Look, and now Tony Jones motions out. Canes only rush three. Throw high. There's the pick. Jaquan Johnson will be the first wearer of the turnover chain tonight. His third interception this season. Play action, and Rogier steps up, delivers near side. Catch made by Jeff Thomas, who steps out. Ball to Thomas. Attacks his right crook, an aggressive approach from Mark Brick calling the play so far. Regier, again, darts up the middle, slips out of a tackle, stutter steps, scores! A pass, second play, watch the center again. See a read of the linebackers. If they drop out, he's gonna take off, and again, showing that athletic ability that he has, a former baseball player, he has a great feel for this play. That quarterback reads. Irish have been rocked by two touchdowns in a minute 28. Looking to throw in first down, Wimbush and not escapes, dragged down on the edge. He had the two third down completions, first drive, but he's two for nine. And now in third and 13, Wimbush trying to get it with his legs, and he'll be slammed down far short at the 20 by Young and McLeod, and the punt team comes out something for Notre Dame if they're the team that they think they are. Same look again as Dallas takes off out of the Wildcat. Bangs into a blocker, now gets free again. DJ Dallas sets up Miami inside the 25. Line here too. Donaldson, St. Louis do a good job opening it up. And these receivers from Miami, they don't mess around when it comes to blocking. They get Miami players, this board right here. 
And now Herndon in the flat. Muscles down inside the 10. Kane's first and goal. Yeah, what, what Miami's doing a very good job of. We talked about keeping Notre Dame trying to keep things in front of them. They're just getting the ball to their athletes, including the quarterback, and trying to make Notre Dame defend them in space. Irish print pressure. It's picked up. Rogier's pass is batted down and almost intercepted. A diving attempt by Jalen Elliott. Liable 11 for 11 inside 40 yards. This from 23. A 48-yard field goal drive stretches it to 17 nothing. But a really be able to run downhill tonight into those linebackers. Got it again, run and left. And they, they, yeah, he, it just it's it's very slow developing for the slow developing plays. It's that matchup we wanted to see. Who's going to win that matchup? Miami doesn't feel threatened. They just scramble him. Got to Just get it off. And one place. Under immediate pressure, does take off, shows the athletic ability, fights near the marker at the 34. In the eye formation, an early gamble from Kelly. Adams got it. And fights and battles and stretches for first down yardage. Brock Wright in his fullback, typical. And motion, another one, Wisher. Adams again trying to run left, but they have had their way all season long, but not tonight. Watch how quick he's shooting gaps. I mean, they're, they're penetrating, and it's not always on the play side, it's the back side. Miami doing such a good job of blowing these plays up before. Rogier steps up, delivers over the middle, it's dropped. That was Harris who had a chance to move the sticks. Hasn't really had that look since the loss to Georgia, has he? Mm -mm. Looks to throw on first down, delivers high, intercepted. Malik Young looking for a block, spun down inside the 10 as the turnover chain will make its second appearance tonight. Watch him, watch him put a little bit on it, and by doing that, the ball is just high. Malik Young is... Good job of being ready. See that ball just did not come out clean. Receiver that time, Claypool. Third and goal. Rogier for the end zone, incomplete. Tried to fire a dart to Langham, the all himself, this 30 yarder. And the record is his. Old facing this crowd and this defense needing eight. On third down. Here they come. And they swarm him. Book escapes and just heaves it into the bench. It's a night. Good luck yeah. with your top four. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rogier, play action. Delivers across the middle. And the catch is made by Lawrence Cager. The rangy receiver moves the ball into Irish territory. Confidence. Big third down here again. Playing with some tempo. They need two. Homer picks his way, battling and fighting. And he'll be stopped a yard short by... Tavon Coney, so it's fourth down decision time for Rick from the Irish 40. Look like he's got enough juice to run against this defense. Cuts it back. Adams picking his way. Still looking for that at home run. A good read. Irish with one timeout, approaching a minute 30. Book from the pocket. Throws downfield to St. Brown and makes a catch and is knocked down near midfield. It's up tight and the safety who's coming over. Michael Jackson rides him, pushes him, doesn't get a real, actually a really good job. He's behind Book. They fake it to him. Book has to elude pressure. He's got room to run. He's not Wimbush fast, but he's a pretty good athlete and he scoots for a first down inside the 45. Yeah. Faces a third and six. Adams is back in the game. Book delivers a dart, intercepted. Look out, Trajan Bandy, the true freshman, break out the chain again. But he has a feel. There's going to be a quick slant that goes in front of him. It's going to come here, but he's reading this. The quarterback telegraphed the pass, and he got a jump on it right there. By reading his quarterback's eyes, having eyes on the quarterback, it allows him to get a little bit of a head start and anticipate the throw. He jumped the route, looking at that quarterback, and makes a huge play again for the Canes defense. Notre Dame's last visit to this building. They came in as the number one team. Well, maybe Miami, the best team in the country. Can you imagine saying that two weeks ago? It was Adams.
knocked down. This was the team that was the lowest ranked power five unbeaten team coming into that Virginia Tech game. Mr. McGlinchey. For the Canes from their 10. Rogier retreats to the end zone and fires into traffic. That was a dangerous throw. And the catch made for the loss of the yard by Homer. Stop to get the ball back to their offense. Homer on the delay. Busts in a crease and they'll move the six across the 20 yard line. Yeah, but but I think he shows you time after time. A little delay here, counter, they get the tight end Herndon out in front. He, he, this is really good execution. The freshman also, Donaldson leading the way. Good feel. Being able to cut that back and then you get him with his speed it's back there. He's going to run with an attitude. Runs angry. He's got it again. Homer in the clear. Travis Homer downfield blocking. He stumbles on his own and will fall down at the Notre Dame 37. Like I said, with his suddenness and quickness, he gets on those linebackers and safeties in a hurry. And to the 40 yard run, they play with some tempo and Jay Hayes. Knocks him down for a short loss. Adjustments by the quarterback. Fake it to Homer. Rogier is dragged down. Not fooled on the play it was Dalen Hayes, and it's fourth down. Quickness. They're going to go for it. Yeah, quick snap there. Under pressure, Rogier lofts it downfield to Cager, who makes a catch inside the 10. Cager is 6'5, and he goes up and over Love. And Got it. Trying to get the edge. Cuts back. Dives for the pylon. Touchdown! And the Canes build the lead. This and he's ready to be that backup running back, a high school quarterback, a wide receiver. He gets to the corner. Wimbush returns at quarterback for Notre Dame. Nice to get Adams going. He is tracked down. Hit early by Chad Thomas and wrestled down. Nothing doing for 33 tonight. Most everybody gained 325 yards a game on the ground. They have 71 right now. Third and 13. Wimbush flips it short. And the low throw makes it awkward for Elise Mack. The tight end stumbles there. And he's a 34-0. And the Kings trying to add to it. Homer. Testing the right side will be knocked down for a short loss. And back in the day, from the looks of it, Homer this time he tries the left side, gets a little crease and a burst and a first down across the 40. I can tell you that he is, and they were not fun years at Georgia at the end. He admits that he, he was miserable. Harris on the end around that is snuffed out, and the Irish drop him for a loss. Division title. On third and 11, Homer around the end. Are they going to try to convert again on the ground? No, he stopped short this time at the 47 by Tranquil. I am added to the lead. Dexter Williams is rebounding some injuries in the backfield now. Wimbush back to throw. It's a downfield to St. Brown, who makes a catch near midfield. Tended to him for a while. We'll have to keep an eye on whether he returns to this game. All right, Tom, thank you. Wimbush under pressure, looking to chuck it downfield. Instead, is dragged down for a loss by Zach McLeod. And did a retina scan on him. The, uh, the much quicker Kane's front. Wimbush on second and 11, feels the pressure again, able to step free, and delivers underneath to Smythe. And the Florida. Well, they've been stuck in first gear all night, this offense, so they could use a gear shift. Yeah. As Wimbush. Is going to be wrestled down. It's a stand-up sack as Joe Jackson got him in the arms. One of the veteran pass rushers. Throw highlight reel. And they have. On third and eight, Wimbush a throwback near side. Stefferson gets a block and darts for a first down inside the 20. News flash. Wimbush again harassed and sacked. That was Trent Harris showing some speed off the edge. He goes right by him. I mean, Woo. it's like he knew the snap count and Haynes, he didn't. Blitz again. Wimbush lobs it for the end zone. Jump ball. Touchdown. Going up and getting the football there is Alize Mack, the tight end. Throwing it up in the air where Mack at 6'4 can make it. See how he puts it up in the air? That's a big tight end against Young, and Young's only 5'9". 
When you put the ball up high where your tight end has a chance. Dexter Williams is the back. Bush on the run, cuts it back and scores. And starts jawing to the Canes defenders. It's the first time maybe all night the offensive line had a good drive. It's a pr pretty good move there in the open field against D Darian Owens. Just puts his foot in the ground. Once kind of has that option to throw or run and makes fast. Realize how much fun this is and how much impact they can make if they show up regularly. Look out. Busted in the clear. Homer out across midfield and finally dragged down near the Notre Dame 40. A punctuation. Definitely changing for the Miami Hurricanes. Great point. Dallas cut down about two yards short of the marker by Evan Studstill. A backup safety. It'll be fourth down. And he feed him. And Dallas fights hard. Looks like they will spot him right at the 30 and that should move the sticks back in the game and homer around right end is going to be driven to the ground for a short loss by greer martini he'll be kicking on sundays for a long time it's from 42 and that is the announcer's jinx as yeah. he misses he did, he did it for the first time and savor it Williams makes a cut and nice run in traffic out near the 35 <laughs> Very few creases tonight. No, man third and one Williams starts forward and the first down across the 40 Got it. Good point. He didn't he did go up and get that ball in the end zone Blind side ball taken away Garvin who had a similar strip sack last week does it again forces it recovers it give that man the turnover chain edge watch how quick he gets around and uses his hands McGlinchey not moving his feet bats that ball down in the presence of mind to jump on top of it I mean you can't find two more identical plays he did the same thing to Josh Jackson that karate chop yeah knocked the ball loose grabbed it himself but he outside the program touch it it might jinx it as Homer takes I, off, I, I, I think it's just I'd the like opposite. I think I accelerated. Hey, dude, you, you're, you're bringing him a little magic here. <laughs> I mean, come on. I'm just saying. I mean, created that. Give Miami a local discount, by the way. Homer darts down inside the 10. I mean, think of the job that Mark Rick has done in two years. Dallas fights down inside the five. They win they went 10 seasons. Teens will go for it on fourth down from just inside the five. And they just feed DJ Dallas who lunges for another touchdown. Fights hard. Let's check the knee just to make no, sure he's that he's in. clearly in. Yep. So he's starting to become a really nice back. It sure is. I mean, he, again, high school quarterback. Madison next We're going week. to Madison. They might have something to say about the undefeated Badgers who look good today, right? Yeah. Down there at number five for you. So <laughs> heads up on that. And St. Brown working hard breaks free for the 30 yard line and the Irish just with 345 to go in this one. Ugly incident. It just kind of went downhill. Wimbush, a frustrating night. At times this game looks too fast for him. A flag comes in as he makes a big run down into Miami territory. Back to back, big stage, Virginia Tech and Notre Dame. Dominating in both games. And Bush over the middle, and then the catch is made by Claypool, who's knocked down. We got Dion McIntosh, a backup tailback in the game for the Irish, is in the final two minutes. Hand off and nothing doing. I think he's going to be about a foot short. McIntosh stopped by Chad Thomas. Rogier in the offense. Efficient. Balanced. And Miami announcing itself as not just ACC Coastal Division champions, but very strong playoff contenders.